second gear get these mirrors adjusted a little bit third gear Right off the bat, there's fourth gear. This uh, new 2022 Honda Monkey has a five-speed transmission. Where the Honda Monkeys before, you know, 2021, they only had a four-speed. So they added a couple new features to this bike. They added a five-speed transmission. And they also added an oil filter. So I'm not going to go like too terribly fast or anything today. I'm not going to push the bike. This is the maiden voyage, so you got to do like 600 miles of break-in miles. And from what I've been told, it's it's good to do those miles going through all the ranges of the throttle. So up and down. They said a lot of city type driving is probably best for breaking in. So right now, wow, this thing's got plenty of power. I'm doing 31, I'm in fifth gear, 33 miles an hour, not too bad. It's kind of cool, these little mini motos, 34 miles an hour. I think it's pretty neat. It's a beautiful day outside. The temperatures are still cold though, even though it's beautiful. It's like under, under freezing. It's like 28 degrees out right now. <laughs> Can I already feel the uh, cold air coming through my coat? I didn't wear a good uh, layer, I guess. But that's okay. That's not going to stop us today from taking this thing out for a little cruise. These little bikes are a lot of fun. They get great gas mileage, and that's why uh, it appealed to me. I, you know, I saw this thing with Russia and Ukraine about to happen and I thought man that could impact our fuel prices so I started looking very heavily at things like this that could save fuel efficiency I'm glad I got it because as of me shooting this video today I think the gas here locally is over four dollars a gallon here in northern Arizona so the front brake works really good another thing uh, about these new 2022 models is the ABS or the analog brake system comes standard on these there's first there's second coming up here and there's third push that here's fourth gear and fifth gear it's nice to have that fifth gear boy that's pretty nice so far so good I think this would be a great bike for around town it's kind of nice because uh, these little bikes don't go terribly fast. So in the event that you do get in some kind of little accident, it's probably not going to be as bad as if you were riding a crotch rocket doing 115 miles an hour, you know? Because the max these things will do is probably 50, 55. I'm doing 43 right now. Pretty crazy. So as I get down here, uh, there's a little gas station. I'm going to take a look at this gas station and see what the prices is. Yeah, that sign off in the distance. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. Uh, that Maverick there, 459. I think that's for diesel, and 419 for unleaded. Four dollars and 19 cents. We haven't seen that in a long time. And that just goes to show that. Uh, when you vote on an election, the person that you choose as your leader can impact things in your country. I'm not knocking on anybody that voted either way that they voted, but, you know, uh, voting does have consequences. <laughs> so I'm in neutral here. 419 for unleaded, 467 for number two diesel, and 475 for heavy diesel. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Got my turn signal on. I hope the audio is coming out good. It's just a little bike. It's kind of cool. 
these bikes are getting harder to find right now because gas prices and stuff and plus getting your hands on these things is a little bit difficult I had to put a down payment uh, of $500 to get this bike Oop, gonna have to stop here and I, I waited so I put a nice little down payment and then I waited for the uh, bike to come in it took a few months but it finally came in and I was able to get it these mini motos are a lot of fun they're cool because they let you have the the ability to go through all the gears I've got to open my visor it's fogging up a little bit come on let's go green the little monkey's ready to go I don't know if I'm big enough to register as a vehicle sitting here these things are cool because they only take one quart of oil <laughs> there's second gear third gear gets me about 25 miles an hour I'm doing almost 30 here fourth gear boy that fifth gear is nice my parents they have monkeys and theirs are the 21 models and they only have a four speed pretty neat the comfort of this bike it feels comfortable it's very smooth suspension it's fair it <laughs> could be a lot better let's let's uh well i was gonna listen to the horn but i don't want anybody to think that i'm honking at them these little side mirrors my shoulders are a little bit broad so these side side mirrors are a little bit difficult to see out of <laughs> so we'll come to a nice four-way stop boy i like that disc brakes this has disc brakes front and rear so it's pretty cool kind of a fun bike to ride because it gives you the ability to go through all the gears and you really feel like you're doing something the disc brakes work good though I noticed that the front disc brake is a little bit larger than the one on the rear I'm really liking this digital readout this display I don't know if I can make it brighter or not but um, I officially have four miles on my Honda monkey now <laughs> It's kind of interesting. People wave at you and they look at you when you ride something like this. They're definitely an eye-catching uh, little bike. Come to a stop. Let's go. We can get up to speed pretty quick on this little thing. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's got a lot more response than I thought it would. And I plan on doing a lot of trips on this bike in the future on this channel. I plan on doing some camping videos and stuff on this little bike. Because of the popularity of these bikes, uh, the price of some dealerships, they're really gouging on these things, these little Honda monkeys. I went to one guy and I will never refer a place, a person to go to this place. It was in Snowflake, Arizona, a little dealership there. I went there and they had this exact bike and they wanted $7,300 out the door. And the guy told me, well, you know, they're hard to find and if you want it, you'll pay for it. And I said, no, I don't think so, man. The retail on these is $41.99. Well, we got to do assembly fees and put liquids in it. And he gave me all these this runaround. And I said, well, I'm just not going to pay that much. He said, well, you won't find one in this state. And I said, well, I will. I'll find one. And it ain't going to be from you. So I called all the dealerships in Arizona and finally found one. They didn't have the bike, but they could get one. And I put a deposit down. It took about three months for the bike to come in. They had to order it. And I was out the door uh, for under $5,000. So I got a decent price. So we're just going to go for a little ride and test out the camera, test out the bike. Ooh, speeding. Got to go 15 down here when you're approaching the standing on the corner here. Up here on the left, there's a little statue. People come from all over the world to look at this statue because the eagles sing about it in a song. Take it easy. <laughs> so we get all kinds of people that come to Winslow, and it's 15 miles an hour through here. There's that statue. 
Everybody's happy to see the statue. We're gonna take a right here. Get on Highway 87 South. This road is the road that I'll probably do and be doing a lot of videos on because it goes to Payson, Arizona. And with with a bike that gets over a hundred miles to the gallon, you can do a lot of a lot of little nice little rides. This thing's quiet too, I'm noticing. It's a very quiet bike. Easy to control easy to ride it's not too it, there's nothing bad about this bike it's pretty cool you know some people say oh they lack power they don't have no power well it's a mini moto what do you expect I mean I'm doing 37 right now I'm in fifth gear I'm doing 41 44 so speeds not too bad these are just nice little bikes to put around on if you're not in a hurry 47 and I'm going up a little bit of a hill here <laughs> that's what you get out of this little Honda monkey if I want to go faster I'll bring my bigger bike but we're gonna turn up here in a second we're gonna turn onto Highway 99. Now, while I'm speaking about highways and driving and motorcycles, I wanna make sure that everybody out there watching understands that a bike like this is not legal, at least in my state, to take on the interstate. So anything like Interstate 40 that goes to Flagstaff and stuff, you can't take a bike like this on the interstate. Um, from what I understand, the rule in this state is you have to have at least 250 cc's or more to take a bike, a motorcycle on the interstate. So this one only being a 125, it doesn't meet that criteria. So I'm in fifth gear. Another thing that I noticed about this bike is it seems to be a cool running bike. It doesn't get hot. Um, it seems to run pretty cool. They say that there is a weight limit on these little bikes, uh, not to go over like 230 pounds. So I'm doing 50, almost 49, 50, just hit 50. Pretty cool. Yeah, definitely, uh, if you're going to be riding in wind and stuff like that, you probably wouldn't want this bike because it just doesn't have the power to be doing all these high speeds. Maybe a smaller person that weighs less, you know, maybe a 150 pound person might do 55 or 60 on this thing, I don't know. But I weigh almost 200 and I'm doing 51, which is perfectly fine for me. I love that digital display. I know that I, that I said that earlier, but I really like the, the ability to see the uh, gas. I can tell right now how much gas I have, and that's cool. This, this bike is fuel injected. It's not a carburetor, it's fuel injected bike. There's a couple dogs up here. Don't want to run into a dog. There's that Honda monkey horn. So for me, being a little bit overweight, <laughs> Uh, this is probably going to be a 50 mile an hour bike for me. So it'll be good for going to the store and getting some stuff or doing a trip where I'm going to be super patient getting there, you know. And another thing to pay attention to when you ride a little bike like this that's not super powered up is the fact that you're probably going to have to pull over and let everybody around you. I don't have nobody behind me yet, but I'm kind of anticipating that when you're riding a bike like this. If you weigh 200 pounds, like I do, you know, 198, uh, you're probably gonna need to get out of people's way. I'm doing 52 right now. But you know, it's, it's not really about the speed to me. It's about the fuel efficiency and the ability to get out and go for a ride. And that's what's important. And that's why I bought this bike. I think about this as a survivalist. And in survival, sometimes the tool, the best tool, is the one that you have. And this bike, uh, 
you know, the fact that it gets such good fuel mileage, it lets you get out and ride for pennies on the dollar. And that's what's important, getting out and, and going places. I'm going to plan uh, some trips on this thing and uh, definitely do some camping and stuff. I'm going to have to be light though on my gear because if I pack it full of gear, camping gear, and add another 40 pounds, you know, I might be a 45 mile an hour rider. So you definitely got to plan your routes and, and, and your timing and stuff like that on something like this. But let's not forget this bike gives you the ability to get out and that's what's important to me 52 miles an hour not too bad i got 10 miles on the monkey as we speak no cars coming let's go let's get this monkey out there i like the name of it honda monkey it's kind of catchy <laughs> third gear fourth gear fourth gear I can do 35 fifth gear fifth gear is real nice and smooth if you don't want the the motor running too hard you can sit there in fifth gear and just put around I'm doing 35 very comfortably I hope I'm not getting too much wind noise I'm doing 40 going against the wind I think comfortable little bike to ride. It's easy to manipulate. It's easy to manage. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel uh, the balance is good on it. It'd be nice to ride, you know, when you're going to go to the grocery store and you don't want to fire up your truck, you know, with these fuel prices, you could just fire this thing up, take a backpack and go get a couple little things at the store. I'm actually letting off the throttle a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to do 600 break-in miles on this thing before we do anything serious. Of course, I don't know. This ride out here ain't nothing serious. I'm only going about 15 miles total. Short little ride today. I'm just letting off a little bit just to do 45. Don't want to wind it up too hard today on its maiden voyage. 45 is a good speed and it doesn't, it's not wide open. From what I understand, I think on a tank of gas, this thing gets over 200 miles or something like that on a tank. 150 miles or 200 miles, something like that on a tank of gas. It's a beautiful day for a ride. I can't wait for temperatures to warm up a little bit temperatures outside are a little chilly so I'm sure that when temperatures warm up I'll be more wanting to get out more but it's kind of cold let's test this rear brake not too bad I like the front brake better though and the front brake is a lot easier there we go really lets you wrap it out. <laughs> I'm already in fourth gear doing about almost 40 and fifth gear. You can go through all five gears quick. Thirty-five miles an hour I better slow my roll. Don't want to get a speeding ticket on a Honda monkey. That'd be terrible. <laughs> Could you imagine explaining that to the judge? Yeah, you were doing 50 in a 35. What's going on? Well, I was riding a little Honda Monkey, judge. It's only 125cc motor. I'm lucky if I can go 50, because I'm fat. <laughs> the bike does a great job getting up and going, you know, in town and stuff like that. After riding my DR650, that'll do 100 miles an hour with me on it, you know, this is a lot different. It's still just as fun, though. This is just as fun.
clutch is smooth. Operating this bike is very easy. It's definitely fun to ride and it's easy once you come to a stop your feet can easily find the ground. It's not like you have a real high seat height. It's just a really comfortable bike. We're gonna get around this guy and then we'll get over. Turn signal. When I, anytime I ride a motorcycle, I always act like I'm invisible because I, I want people, you know, I don't trust the way people drive, so I always have to drive in accordance to them not seeing me. And that's one of the reasons I chose the bright yellow color over the black. The yellow is going to be at least easier to see. Last year they offered blue and red, I think it was. But everything's easy to operate. You know, turn signals, clutch lever, you know, everything's easy to get to. I notice on this bike, you get a lot of looks. A lot of people look at you like, wow, what are you riding? Like they never saw something like that. Or <laughs> Honda definitely nailed the cool look on this thing. So folks, I guess that's about all I have for you today on this video. I'm going to wrap this one up. I think I'll go one more mile and I'll hit 20 miles. Ooh, that's too low. Let's upshift a little. This has been a fun ride. I have 19 miles on the monkey now. It's pretty nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun shooting. You know, it was fun getting out and going for a little monkey ride. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. There will be more videos like this in the future. Riding this monkey. I don't know, I might even make a couple new playlists. I might make a DR650 playlist and a monkey playlist or something. Who knows. But until next time, folks, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. And we will see you next time. Bye for now, folks. Go out and get yourself a Honda Monkey. They're fun to ride.